Hello, this is Dr. Srinivas Murthy TM. I am an ENT consultant practicing at Ashwanpur. I consult at Columbia Asia Referral Hospital Ashwanpur as well as my clinic which is Srinivas Speciality ENT Center uh, which is located in Ashwanpur. <clears throat> Generally, sinus headaches occur with congestion that is with nose block, uh, sensation of cold. Now there are uh, some uh, conditions wherein they can also have uh, sinus headaches without congestion that means without the nose actually getting blocked or you actually feeling that you are having a cold. Now uh, generally the, uh, what is described is what is called as a vacuum headache. Sometimes you may have a slight nasal um, obstruction and you sniff uh, very uh, loudly and then there is a clog of your sinus happening and then uh, the air within your sinuses they get absorbed into the mucosa and then it creates a vacuum uh, in your sinus which can cause uh, some amount of headache. Uh, so that's called as a vacuum headache. Uh, sinus headaches can also occur secondary to barotrauma. Now when you say barotrauma, that means trauma resulting secondary to pressure changes. Now where do pressure changes occur? Pressure changes typically occurs when we are not on earth. That is either we are going deep sea diving or we are in the flight. So typically, uh, as the flight descends, there can be um, uh, this um, phenomenon of barotrauma occurring. Uh, again, because of creation of a negative pressure within the sinus, uh, the sinus mucosa tends to get pulled uh, and uh, it uh, sets in an inflammatory reaction there and hence you can have pain over the forehead or on the cheek depending on whichever sinus has got involved. The third uh, subset of patients in whom you can have um, sinus uh, kind of headache but without congestion is uh, immunosuppressed patients that is patients who have uh, coexisting um, diseases like uh, diabetes mellitus, uh, chronic kidney disease, uh, people who have hepatitis B, people who are uh, retrovirus positive, uh, people who are on immunosuppressive drugs like steroids or on chemotherapy for other um, conditions. Uh, so these kind of patients are um, uh, pretty, uh, they're uh, more prone to get fungal infections. Now, in fungal infections, you may not necessarily see uh, congestion inside the nose, but they can have severe pain. Uh, so, severe pain uh, uh, present over the region of the sinus, uh, and the patient presents to us with uh, coexisting comorbidities. That is the, the other condition which I have named. Uh, we will be very very. Um, aggressive in our evaluation of such a patient to rule out fungal sinusitis.